Hi everyone, I'm Maurice McGeehan, the performance chef for the RFU. So this week I want to do a favourite from the Six Nations, which was a lamb tagine that I'd done with a lamb shank. So this week I'm going to do it with lamb shoulder, and the reason being is lamb shanks aren't always easy to get. Now this is about 1.1 kilos, and it'll do about six people. So I want to start off with this with something called a chamula. So in the chamula ingredients, we've got some ginger, we've got some chili powder, we've got some turmeric, got some cumin, coriander, a little bit of saffron, we've got some uh, garlic cloves, some onions, some paprika and some olive oil. I'm just going to get the ingredients in here. So the chamula is really a marinade, but it can also be a relish. It can also be used uh, in fish dishes, but the recipe will change. I'm going to put that in. Saffron, pepper, Now try and use um, normal paprika, sweet paprika. Don't be using the uh, smoked, because that's really comes from the Spanish. Some of the turmeric in there. And then the oil. And the blender. Okay, so we've got this down to a paste there. You can see there, it's very colorful. I'm just gonna add this to the meat. Sure, this is all, and all the meat's coated. Now, I didn't put any salt into this, and the reason being is that we're going to leave this overnight. I mean, you can leave this for two days in the fridge. The longer you leave it, the more intense the, the flavor will be in the meat. But 24 hours is good. This is one that I done yesterday. So, the spells here are absolutely fantastic. You can see the lovely marinade it's just gone into it you can see that the turmeric color is starting to go into the meat so i'm just gonna put a little bit of rapeseed oil into the saucepan while that's coming up to heat i just want to talk through the rest of the ingredients for the tagine so we've got some lamb or vegetable stock we've got some apricots dates i've got some olives some cinnamon sticks we've got some honey and then we've got some chopped tomatoes and some mint but I also want to try and leave some of the marinade behind. I just want to cook the meat. I'm going to seal the meat and then I'm going to take it out of the pan. And then I'm going to put the tremoli back into the pan, which is going to be the base for the tagine sauce. Okay, so we're all starting to get smoking hot. I'm just going to add in the lamb. And just put back whatever marinade. The can back to the bowl here. I'm going to give this stir. Now you find that your um, your pot's starting to get a little bit dry, you can add in a little bit more oil into there as well. Okay, we've been sealing this now for about five minutes at a really high heat. The meat seems to be all sealed. So the next step I want to do, I want to take it out and leave it onto just a tray. Just leave it to one side and then we can start on the actual tagine itself. Just a tiny little dash of oil at the bottom. Now you can see the bottom, your saucepan is all black. You're not worried. This is all going to come into your sauce and add some flavour into it. Now, right. you're just going to add the leftover chamula marinade into the saucepan. But a medium heat, start sweating it off for a little while. I'm going to throw in the cinnamon sticks. And then, we can put the stock in. Just turn the heat up now to a high spring to get that to come to the boil. I'm going to add in the tomatoes. And then wait for this to come back up to the uh, boil. Just stir in. I stir at the bottom of the saucepan so you get all that lovely uh, flavour from the, from, the, um, from the base when it was caramelising. So that'll add all the unami to the uh, tagine. I can feel the bottom of the saucepan now, it's all coming off. Tomatoes, which are only starting to come to the boil. So just adding the meat back in. If you feel that you need to add a little bit more stock, by all means do so. Just add a little bit in. Okay. So then I'm going to leave this for about 20 minutes to simmer. And again, the slow braise and the meat will start cooking and start breaking down. And then I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients in. Okay, so we've been cooking for about 20 minutes. By this stage now, I just want to add some mint. Get 
add in the olives and then I'm going to add in the apricots and the dates and this is where all the lovely sweetness comes into it from all the ingredients the lovely sugars come out of the dates and the uh, apricots and then we put the honey in I'm going to turn the heat down, put a lid on it, and let it cook for about two hours. Okay, so we've left the tagine cooking for about two hours at low heat. You can see it's all nicely come together now. You can see that the um, apricots have hydrated now, so I just need to season this. The tagine's done now, so. I'm actually going to just turn it off and then leave it to one, to one side. Now the next thing I want to look at is the couscous to go off the tagine. And here I've got a pot of vegetable stock and I'm going to bring it up to the boil. I want to get a nice colour through the couscous. I'm going to put a little bit of turmeric. From a seasonal standpoint, but also a traditional one, I'm going to put black pepper in there because black pepper aids the absorption of uh, turmeric. I'm going to get that colour on it. Now, couscous, we've got 300 uh, grams of couscous. It's going to go in there. You can see now that the uh, stocks come to the boil. I'm going to turn off. I want to get this in right away. I'm not going to put it all in now because I might need it. But I'm just going to put enough in. Let it sit there. So cling film or cover on this right away. And then we let that sit for about five to ten minutes. And we let all that lovely stock absorb into the couscous. So when the couscous is absorbing all the stock, I want to look at the, uh, the final components of the dish. And that is, uh, we've got some flaked almonds. I couldn't get flaked almonds, so I've got nibbed almonds. So I'm going to toast these on a dry pan. We just sprinkle them over. And then, also, the last thing to go on the tagine is a little bit of uh, parsley. So it's just flatly parsley. You just cut it roughly. Okay, so the flaked almonds is nice and toasted. I'm going to take them off. I don't want them to burn. Okay, let's check the couscous. See how we're doing. Yeah, you can see all that just fluff it up with a fork. You can see all the stocks absorbed into it. I want to put um, probably the juice of a half a lemon in there. A little bit of olive oil. Couscous good to go. Okay. Oh, this smells really, really, really good. You can see why it's one of the most popular dishes over the Six Nations. I'm gonna get a lid in there. Make sure you get everything in there. Get some dates, lamb, olives, apricots. Now this is for six people. So I'm serving out where two people sharing each dish. So if the uh, toasted Almonds, top, flake ones if you can get them, even whole ones. Now here, here what I've done here is um, preserved lemon, so it's very hard to get it, especially during lockdown. Um, but what I've done is I, I, thin it, I slice it thinly and I just put a little bit of salt to it overnight and it softens up. It's not quite the proper thing, but it's the closest thing you can get to it at the moment during these lockdown days. You can just put a few of these around. Now these would be lovely and sharp. And kind of a little saltiness coming from the uh, pickle. And then just a little bit of the uh, parsley over to garnish. I'm just gonna put the lids on for these now and then I'm gonna get the couscous in. Okay, so we have it. One of the favorites of the Six Nations, lamb tagine with couscous. Enjoy guys.